Welcome to the video tutorial series on modding simple planes. In this video, I'm going to create a very basic custom map for the game. Let's start by opening up Unity and creating a new project. We're going to need to import the simple planes mod tools package. And I also want to import part of the environment package. So really all I care about here is speed tree and terrain assets. Let's open up the simple planes mod builder window, dock it over here, and create a mod. create a custom map for simple planes, you're going to need a game object with a map component on it. You can get this by going to the simple planes menu, selecting game objects, and selecting map. This adds our map game object to the scene. If we look at this in the inspector, we can see it's got a few pieces of information here. First thing we're going to do is give it a name. Give it a simple description. And that should be good enough for now. Now this map isn't actually included in our mod yet. In order to include this map in the mod, we're going to go to the Mod Builder window, make sure our game object is selected, and say Save Selected Scene Objects. We can see this adds the My First Map object under the Simple Planes map list. So we now know the map is included in the mod. At this point, we can save the mod. And if we run Simple Planes, we should see our mod show up, which it does. I'm going to select the mod, enable it, and as soon as we enable it, we notice in the mod sandbox map category here, we have our map we just created. We can play this map, and here it is. Not much to it yet, just the default water. Okay, let's add a little bit more to our map. Any objects underneath this map object that we have are going to be included in the map. So let's start by just dragging a directional light into the map. Okay, we probably need some terrain, so let's do that next. I'm going to right click on the map, say 3D object, and terrain. Now we have some basic terrain. The water level in Simple Plains maps is at zero on the y axis. So we need to raise this terrain up just a bit. So I'm going to come into the inspector and raise it up just a tad. OK. Now about the water. We're going to be able to see that in the game, but we can't see that in the editor. So let's create a little helper object that will help visualize this water in the editor here. So I'm going to create a plane. Now I don't want this to actually be included in our map, so I'm going to drag this outside the map object. Let's create, create a new material. And we'll color this blue. OK. Now water is going to reside at 0 on the y-axis. So I'm going to move this down to 0. And I'm going to make it huge. And let's associate that water material with the plane. All right, there's our visualization for the water that we'll use in the editor. Now let's spruce this terrain up a little bit, give it some character. If we select the terrain object over here in the inspector, we can see we've got a bunch of tools for working with the terrain. Now I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just going to mess around with some of these tools and see what I can do. OK, not great, but let's see if anything worked. So basically what I did is I raised the height of the terrain in the center area and then kind of dropped the terrain as a whole down below the water level to kind of create this island-like effect. I painted some textures on there, added a few palm trees. So let's see what happens. So our mod, our map is included in our mod, we can see. 
but it's the outdated version. In order for the updates to take effect, we got to come over here and select our map and then save the game object again. Say overwrite and continue. Okay, and you can see some additional tree assets have now been included in our mod because they were included in the map here. So, let's see if it worked. We'll save the mod. Okay, let's open some of the planes and have a look. Need to re-enable our mod. And let's jump into the map. Okay, we can see it's a bit brighter in here now, but no terrain. However, if we look over here, we can see it's way out there. So what we need to do is set our default starting location for the map. All right, let's add a couple different starting locations to our map. I'm going to select my Simple Planes map over here, come up here, say Game Objects, and create a map start location. Let's drag it under the Simple Planes map, and we'll duplicate that. We want two. We'll name this one on ground. And in air start location. Let's find these game objects. We can move them where we want them. So this is the ground start location. And let's move the air start location. Yeah, good enough. If we look at this in the inspector, we can see a little information about the starting location. For the one in the air, let's say our initial air speed is going to be, uh, say, 80. We'll give this a location name. Let's call it in air. And uncheck the start on ground checkbox. For our ground location, it's not perfectly on the ground, but that's okay because we got the start on ground checked. So that should position the aircraft on the ground whenever the map is started. Call this location on ground. And the initial speed is zero. Now, we need to select our map object. And we see we have a default start location listed here, but none has been selected. So we're going to drag our on ground start location over into the default start location. That should associate the ground location as the default. Okay, let's resave our map. Save the mod. And let's open up Simple Planes to see what it looks like. Okay, let's re-enable our mod jump in the map. Okay, we ended up where we were hoping. Not in the orientation I was expecting, but this is good. We can see our custom little island here. If we go to the locations dialog, we can select our location and play from there. And that's about it. One last thing we can do with this map is give it a custom icon. If we look at the map in our inspector here, we have an icon path. Hovering over the label here, we can see the tooltip says a square image of 120 pixels or less works best. So I'm going to fire up paint.net, resize my canvas to 120 by 120. And custom little icon here. I'm 
going to save it in my assets folder for the mod. If I jump back to Unity, we can see it's been included. So on our map, we're going to go over here. The icon path is going to be assets slash my first map icon.png. We're going to need to resave our map. And we'll save the mod again. Okay, let's fire up Simple Planes one last time. Re-enable our mod. And there's our custom icon. That's about it. Thanks for watching.